On this episode of Reels Talk with Amanda Omar, we are going to be discussing the Marvel superheroes we'd like to see have their own movie, so stay tuned. So, we've already done a discussion. We have many times. Yes. Once or twice. About and the we've future seen, of the MCU, right? Yeah, and we've and seen Avengers, and again, we've gave our review and how awesome it was. Yes. Now, we are going to talk about Marvel comic book characters we want to see in movies. Like, I'm going to... Have their own movies. Like, we each have three. Yeah. We, we each have three. I have three. Meta has three. Yes. I have... Uh, you know, I've taken things off like Nova because I know that that's coming. Fantastic Four, X-Men, whatever. I pick characters that I think Marvel Universe could benefit from, the yes. cinematic universe, and probably ones that isn't on their radar. But then I say not on their radar, but every How do we know? freaking comic book they just seems to be... They have the galaxy, so you never know. True. So, <laughs> this is just for fun, and we'd love to know what you guys yes. think at the end of the episode, or I'm sorry, on the comments down below, what yes. you guys think. And just so you get. all know that we're not Marvel heads, we'll be doing the same thing for DC. We'll have another show another show about that, so just so you know that. Marvel heads. Is we that what Marvel they're called? Heads. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making it up. Are you making shit up? Okay. Yes. All right, Amanda, kick off the list. Who would okay. you pick number one? So, first and foremost is... A character that the rights are a little iffy, um, but I think we could pull it off, and that is Namor. Namor. Mm -hmm. Prince of the Seas. Very Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Very okay. Aquaman. Well, you know, what I like about him is... He's walking around he, well, <laughs> with you know, a Speedo? From what we've seen, no, yeah, we walk around with Speedo. No, I think he was... We, have, we don't have a lot of anti-heroes in the Marvel Universe that can play both villain and here at the same time except for like loki and so it'll be really interesting to see another character like that obviously we know he can play he's in the comics he plays with the other um avengers and he plays against them as well mm -hmm. so i think he'd be a really good character to bring to the screen uh not saying that they need to do it just because they have aquaman because he'd be a much different character i don't think they would ever go the same route as that he wouldn't look like that he wouldn't he'd be more of a he has wings on his feet. Yeah, he would be a lot different. I don't know, but a lot different. There's a lot of similarities between the two characters. But there's, n I don't see anything wrong with borrowing ideas from the other company. I mean, yeah. Aquaman did well. I'm sure Marvel's like, let's top that off. I'd like to see Atlantis like have, see break out a CG. break break out a fight <laughs> with Wakanda and have him appear in, like as a villain what? at first. In, yes. maybe this is me just fanficking uh, as a Never villain wrong with as a villain at first in Black Panther two or a Black Panther sequel. So and then having his own movie. Yeah. yeah, I would cast Kevin Spacey as Namor because uh, anybody that read the Illuminati one shot knows that that's the way that Alex Maleev drew him. He looks just like Kevin Spacey. I'm going to kick off my list with something a little bit different and something that we've been kind of hinted at, but they pulled it at the last minute, and that is Wonder Man. Uh, Simon Williams. This is a character who started off as a villain and then eventually joined the Avengers. He has a very complex origin because of the Vision and all, all these other characters that play a part of who he is. Yeah. But I think they can simplify it. He's an actor. That's one of my favorite things. He's a superhero and he's also an actor. They can make that into a really fun movie. And who better to cast than Nathan Fillion? Because that's <laughs> who they know. cast it to be in the poster in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He was in the poster as, as Wonder Man. But they at the last minute, they I think they pulled it. it. Mm -hmm. So for my second one, um, I want a character that obviously you all know I love the Spider-Man universe. But I think one person that I would love to see have her, her own movie is Spider-Woman, oh. Jessica Drew, because it can be more of an action, like, comedy type of thing, I think, which obviously Marvel has seen success, success doing already. Um, I love to see her, the, the Dennis Hopeless um, run, that's the one I've read, this one I like. Maybe, you know, maybe she is a mom, maybe she has Porcupine hanging out with her, being her, <laughs> and Ben Urich, and she has that whole little world, um, because, you know, if the Marvel Universe isn't as connected as it once was, you know, depending on how they want to do the next phases of this. It'd be cool to see those stories. And they do really well when they have those smaller focused films that aren't grand scale all the time. They do have some great ones. I like uh, Chris Claremont's uh, Spider-Woman. Like, when she was, she has a very complicated background, too. Yeah. Uh, she's also a private investigator, right? Yeah. Well, Chris Claremont brought her out of obscurity and during his Wolverine days in Matterport. And she was a, yeah, she had lost her powers. She had had to die. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah, she lost her powers and she became a private eye, which is who Bendis wanted to use um, for the character of Alias. He wanted to use Jessica Drew, but Marvel was like, no. So he was like, all right, fuck it. I'll just make her a private eye named <laughs> Jessica Jones. <laughs> 
and Marvel was like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so, because so, he was always a fan of Jessica yeah. uh, Drew. That's why he brought her back in New Avengers. Who would you cast? For that character? Yeah, come on, this is Amanda show. Ooh. This is, You would always cast people. I know. I don't know who I'd cast. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> I know who i cast for my next one. Um, I would go with Lasha Dushku. You think for Spider-Woman? Sure, she's... She's got it. She does have it. Yeah, she definitely Ashley does. Ashley Graham. She's got those curves. Am I going for talent or... L- talent. Let's go for l- talent. Ta- oh, sorry. Talent. <laughs> I would not be a good casting director. No. Christina um, Hendricks? Gabriel yeah, Union? Yeah. Gabriel Union? Ah. Hmm. There you go. That would wet your whistle. What was I talking about? He was about? thinking about something else. Okay, All right. What about you? What about your uh, second pick? My second pick is... Um, I like team movies, right? I like characters feeding off of each other. So they've already established one character with Ant-Man and Wasp, and that is Agent Wu. And I'm going to go with Agents of Atlas. (laughs) Agents of Atlas is a very kind of retcon-ish series, but like that was supposed to have started in the 50s. They're made up of characters like, yeah, like Agent Wu. And then you've got Namora, not Namorita, not to get confused with the two characters. Mm -hmm. You've got M11. You've got Marvel Boy. And you've, you know, you've got all these group, Gorilla Man, these characters that don't really belong together, but they can make such a fun spy movie. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Maybe, you know, honestly, the the way that I'm going with these, I kind of want unique movies to stand out, kind of like Shazam. Yes. I Maybe thought, Shazam yeah. had such an impact on me and that really I'm like, did. oh, all comic book movies should yeah. be this fun. They, I mean, it's fun. To, you know, they can still connect. They can still be connected. But I like to see unique take. Like with Simon as Wonder Man, I want him to be, uh, you see the actor side of things. Or they can make him a stuntman, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Agents of Atlas. I'd love to see that. Yeah, that sounds you. good. One. What's your um, last one? My last one, it's another female superhero. How many have you had? Two. Two? Okay, just name more and two women. Oh, sexist. Um, so my my third one is She Hulk, Jennifer Walters. No, that was one of my choices. I know too. it was so. one of yours, but I mean, but it's a good choice because you know I know all the ones I mentioned. Unfortunately, their rights are kind of in the. You're you know, right. Universal, yeah. Sony, <laughs> Sony, and Universal. Universal. So it's a weird combination, but I think with Disney's power, at least for the Universal ones... By power, she means money. Money. I think they could pull it off. And I'd like to see She-Hulk. I don't think they'd do another Hulk movie, Mark Ruffalo. I don't think he, that's something that he's interested in, unless well, they recasted him. I mean, honestly, with the rights issues, too, they could tweak her origin where she doesn't have to be like her his cousin. No. she Yeah, they exactly. They could just make it like, oh, Gamma Brady. I don't know. Yeah, they could she tweak could find it. some other way to do it, right? They could always fix it up so that... The rights so, aren't a big issue. When I was thinking about this, I also was thinking of the, hey, let's make this into a fun movie. Yeah. And She-Hulk was one of the very first comic book characters that broke the fourth wall. I think they could do that very similar with, with She-Hulk. I would like that. Yeah. I, you know, you could kick it off. I think I, I, I you showed you my like, pitch. You said like the Allie McBeal style. Like she's a little... <laughs> I don't, okay, Allie McBeal. Law and Order. Law no, and Order. Not like... Allie McBeal. That's not the only lawyer's show I saw. That's... But they can make it... <laughs> <laughs> they can make it goofy. They can make it fun. Law and Order is not goofy. Like, <laughs> right, right off the not like Law and Order. Right off the bat, they could like have her be representing uh, Thanos for like killing half of the universe, or to make it tongue in cheek, or something crazy like yeah, that. Yeah, to make it yeah. just tongue in cheek, so you know, oh, this is his own little pocket universe. This doesn't have to be taken seriously. And yeah. she could break the fourth wall by looking at the camera. Very Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I guess Deadpool. And that and that would be fun to give something different to the MCU as well. Yeah. Now the important question is who would you cast as Jennifer Walters and who That's would you... who I was gonna pick Elijah Dishku for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you CG She Hulk? Oh Or would you cast the I mean well, I don't know, Savage She Hulk gets really huge, but yeah. She Hulk She Hulk can you know, she's pretty small. I don't exactly. know. So who would you cast? Oh, that's who I would guest. Well, she's already playing my Spider Woman. No, she's not playing your Spider Woman. <laughs> you don't know how much money I've offered her. <laughs> I've offered a lot. Oh wait, she's been replaced by Gabrielle Union, so yes, you can have yeah, a last exactly. Thank shoot. you very much. You're you. welcome. Um, but honestly, if I could, I'd just do like an A Force movie, and there. <laughs> all the all women of Marvel in one yeah, movie. That's right. Uh, this is a character I both love and hate. Love the original idea, hated his return, and this is Bob Reynolds, the Sentry. The Sentry was a character in Marvel Comics that st- it was in the late 90s, created by Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee, where he he was a retcon. 
So pretty much uh, the character of Bob Reynolds is this kind of like overweight middle-aged guy that is starting to remember that his nemesis, his arch villain, is coming back, the Void, right? So he's trying to get people to help him, like the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, mm-hmm. the X-Men, but none of them remember him. But he remembers them and his memories start coming back and it turns out that they start remembering him. They're like, oh, the Sentry, yeah, I remember that guy. He was a superhero. So what it was, it the, the twist was that the Sentry, and if you haven't read this, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's a good story, the original. Uh, the Sentry and the Void were two halves of the same whole. He was the same character. Mm-hmm. So in order to fight off the Void, he made himself and everyone else forget about him that he ever existed. So even though he was part of the Silver Age, uh, you know, establishing the Avengers and helping the Fantastic Four out in their early adventures or helping Angel, I think, get over his acrophobia, the fear of heights, he, they they, ret- they retconned all that. And I thought that was really cool because that was a really good, smart way of retconning a character, making him wipe everybody's yeah. memories, make the whole world forget about him. And I would love to see that in a movie because That'd I think be cool. that would be really cool. And they can even throw a little horror spin in there with the void because he's, that's his dark side, right? It could be like a psychological thriller. That again would be different. It would be a different... <laughs> and I think that's... Well, because, you know, I hear a lot of people getting the super... Or the, the fucking term of uh, superhero movie fatigue. Yes. I think it, it's people are just throwing it out there more and more. But I think they're just like westerns, right? Like westerns were a big part of our History american for theater for so decades, long yeah so as long as they keep making unique movies and interesting movies um i think we'll be fine i think, I think we will so too. that's why i want to see things like that so the ones that i picked that's why i went with those yeah i really thought these are the things you daydream about daydream I, not all the time no. okay not all the time <laughs> um so what characters are you wanting to see in the marvel universe you want to see a cartoon roger rabbits because this was my other choice with slapstick um or, yeah, what kind of characters or what kind of movies would you like to see in the new phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? And like Amanda said, we're going to do this for the DCEU? Is that what we're Yes. Yeah, we'll also talk about DC um, movies. As you guys know, we already did a live episode where we talked about everything that they potentially could have coming out because they do have a quite a long list, as we know. Mm-hmm. Um, so from there, we'll see what hasn't been thrown up in the air for DC and figure out what we would want from that. Okay. So. Yep. Sign us off? All right. Yep. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Just answer your That's own question. Right. Yes, okay. All right, thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget, forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for no- notifications. Notifications. I got you. Yep, of more great Near Mint Condition content. And check out our social media. That's right, social media at so Near Mint Con. you doing this. Yeah. I know. And? Uh, remember, we also have a Patreon, so if you right. want to support us, just don't forget to uh, follow us there. You can visit it on our description or in our uh, social media channels as well. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be Near Mint. Bye, Bye everybody. God, throw me off on the damn... I didn't cast anyone. You said, we're not casting anyone. <laughs> Should ask you, who the heck would you cast as Wonder Man? Oh, you said Nathan Fillion. I didn't say Nathan Fillion. Did you just say fuck you? <laughs> how did one run on uh, sentence just go off what, on I me? I don't know how I cast for Namor. The look at him. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> I was like Kevin Spacey a little bit there. On this episode of Reels Talk with Amanda and Omar, we'll be discussing the five... <laughs> Real stuff. How we do it? Six Real superheroes? We, yeah. The superheroes. Well, I'll six. do it. I'll do it. No, I got On it. this episode of Amanda no. and Omar. <laughs> on this episode of Reels. Eh? On this episode of Reels Talk. Uh, Amanda, my mouth was open. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Yeah, this will be it. Ready? Ready? Yep, quick, Ready? short thing. Okay. Just like your sex life. Bing. Okay. Marvel superheroes. Who would you do? Rogue. She-Hulk. Rogue okay. She-Hulk. I can keep going. Cersei. Dazzler? Cersei. Nah, not Dazzler. Spiral Jean Grey. Mock Storm. Lord. Oh my god. Storm with a mohawk. Storm without a mohawk. Storm, Storm bald? Sh- yes. Yes. <laughs> but she was young. That's weird. Okay. That weird. Okay. All right. I'll name off mine. Were you naming yours too? Bald Storm? <laughs> it's kind of hot, Amanda.